Uh, David. I like pens. <laughs> I know this! It's true! It's true! I like pens. And I, and I like to know where my pens are. For this reason, I have a three-point pen policy. What's your three-point pen policy? Uh, well, point one, I find it important to know where my pens are at any time. Mm -hmm. um, for that, example, that's, that covers all three. This doesn't pen. It? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Point two yeah. is to um, is to be hyper aware of any pen that I've lent out. <laughs> Point three uh, is to take any opportunity within the bounds of a reasonable interpretation of the law to purloin or otherwise obtain pens. <laughs> Name three people yeah. who have currently got pens of yours that you want back. There are no people who have pens of yours. <laughs> a key part of point two is to get a pen back okay. as soon as possible. When people say, oh, can I borrow your pen? <laughs> what I want to say is, absolutely <laughs> not! <laughs> get your own pen! This is mine! <laughs> However, as part of a scheme I'm working on to try and seem normal would be an exaggeration, but, you know, at least acceptable in broader society, I try not to say that. I try and seem casual about, oh, yeah, borrow my pen, that's fine. And then I'm thinking about it constantly until it is returned. The pen that you've got with you tonight, is that your own pen or is that a, a, a BBC pen? This it is now my pen. Pass me the pen. I'd rather not. Well, you have to. <laughs> You have to pass me that. I will give it you back. Yeah. I will promise to give you the pen back. Want... Within five All right. minutes. Okay, shall I... T I'll... Let's meet halfway. All right. It'll be the first time we've made physical contact in five years. I'll see you. <laughs> right, put the pen on the floor and step away. <laughs> step right. away from you're the gonna, pen. You're going pen. to destroy the pen, I'm not going to destroy the pen. You've got such a cynical mind. Back yeah. away from the pen. He's going to destroy it. I'm not going to destroy the it pen. Is. That would be infantile. <laughs> So this is a pen you got from the BBC today. Yeah. If I take this pen and say, I'm keeping this pen, what will you do to get the pen back off me? I will not fight you. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you thinking, Lee? It didn't seem much of a system, did it? That he's going to ask me to have the pen back, I'm going to say no, and he's going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is first so to sorry. say we have created <laughs> drama. <laughs> You had explicitly reassured him in front of witnesses mm. that you would not break the pen. That is I didn't true. believe that him. Is true. I didn't believe him. I knew he'd break the pen. That mm. pen, I'm afraid to say, I and I hope this doesn't make me sound heartless, when I put that pen down there, it was dead to me. <laughs> right, Lee, which way are you going? Is he telling the truth or was he telling a lie? I bet you love pens. I bet you're pretty crazy about pens, but you do not have a three-point system. I think he might. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Lee, take a guess. Truth or lie? I'm going to say it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. David Mitchell, the truth or a lie? It is, in fact, true. <laughs> Yes, it's true. David does have a three-point pen policy, so he knows where they are. 